हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द गैटलिंग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज फ्रॉम सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग हेल्प एज पार्ट ऑफ द एजेंडा वी विल कवर हाउ यू कैन रिकॉर्ड अ सिमुलेशन यूजिंग द गैटलिंग रिकॉर्डर विल सी एंड अंडरस्टैंड द फाइनल स्क्रिप्ट दैट गॉट क्रिएटेड यूजिंग द गैटलिंग रिकॉर्डर एंड हाउ यू कैन रन द सिमुलेशन फाइल और स्क्रिप्ट यूजिंग द गैटलिंग स्क्रिप्ट रनर दैट प्रोवाइडेड विद द स्टैंड अलोन इंस्टॉलर सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड assuming that the gatling stand alone is already downloaded we downloaded it in the downloads folder and unzipped it and this is how the folder structure looks like if you go in the bin folder there are four files there recorder scripts and gatling script both available as shell and batch files so let's first open the recorder to get started so once the recorder starts you need to configure the proxy my browser proxy is currently configured to listen to port 9000 and you can choose it as per your convenience package and class name are again depending on project needs but it's recommended to set it properly here so that you don't have to do rework again simply say no static resources so that we exclude all the static files here and let's click start this opens my recorder the scenario that we are going to execute is navigating to the gatling hosted application computer database application we'll create a new computer fill in the data and submit with that information so let's execute the scenario let's add a new computer here i'll say apple mac os choose the company as apple click create this computer once the computer is created let's go back to our recorder and we can see it has already captured our scenario steps here i'll click stop and save and we can see that it should have now captured that scenario let's go back to the downloads folder and user file simulations this is where the simulation is stored and you can see that it is now getting to com learn gatling package with file named as my first project dot scala this was the class name that we gave while starting the recorder let's first see how this file looks you can see the package information here these are some libraries from gatling core maven package now let's try understanding few elements of this class every simulation that gets created through the recorder extends a base class called simulation and it defines few methods to execute the scenario this is the class name that we had configured now first section is essentially setting up and configuring the environment like the http protocol defines the base url the important part is here like accept headers and some details about the user agent the second section is information about the headers as in what headers that you need to pass when a request is being made so this since these are auto generated there is a lot of code that is actually not required when we create the script using the simply using the scala library directly but since these are created through the recorder there are this extra data and finally this important element called scn and scn is nothing but the scenario script that we executed like it's a it's the order of order in which the request 
need to be made with what kind of details etc now you can see here scenario name is my first project dot exec means it's executing this request request zero means we are simply naming the request in order like request zero request one and you can see that there is a relative url get slash computers what it does is from the http protocol information it takes the base url and prepends it to the this relative url in order to form the full url with header information and header zero and similarly other information if you see the last request that was the post request you can see the data that we had filled we had filled a name as apple mac os introduced and continued we left blank company we selected in drop down that gets converted as the drop down choice number and this is how the scenario is defined in code and the final or last line is one that actually executes your scenario scn dot inject it means that now it's the command to inject how many users or essentially the load configuration that you want for your scenario and protocols is nothing but the first section that you had defined which contains your base url and common header information so when the scenario is executed it will use this http protocol with this load configuration <clears throat> to start or execute this scenario so let's try executing this scenario using the gatling script now so in our bin folder we had seen that there is a gatling shell file that comes with the standalone installer you can run this shell file and what it does is that it essentially lists down all the simulation scripts that are there in our simulations folder that were generated by the recorder and you can see it's saying that com learn gatling my first project is the only simulation and executing it so had there been multiple simulations that were recorded it would have given that choice and a user could have selected that simulation and executed it as per their convenience so run description is nothing but uh, any any text that you want to add like my first execution i'll click enter and you can see that it has started the execution it will keep printing some data about the execution some stats like how many requests how many how much time has elapsed and things like that it does finally create one html report we'll see it in more details in the upcoming videos but just to get a hang of it let's try opening it and see that it has already created a nice html report for the scenario that it executed let's try creating another scenario from here with a different name like my second project just to see how the gatling shell finds or lists down different scenarios and we can choose what scenario to run let's uh, try something let's probably go to this computer and i'll say delete this computer basically performing some actions i'll i have something here now i'll say stop and save now my script should have been created with class name as my second project let's confirm that as we can see in the gatling package it says my first project and my second project dot scala let's uh, run the gatling shell script again
and now you can see that it is saying choose a simulation number because it finds two simulations so we need to give it a choice that which simulation is the one that we want to run so suppose i say one and depending on the choice that you give here it will select the simulation and it will start running the second scenario that we had captured there so that's it for this video tutorial thank you